Shalom, all praise and honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushab, Bashim, Kakadash, double honors to the elder apostle, Great Millstone, and salutation you walk and teach all truth and sincerity. Uh, this, I'm going to start this video off in 2nd Edges chapter 13, verse 55. It says, Thy life has thou ordered in wisdom, and has called understanding thy mother. So, <clears throat> we, um, um, Basically, practicing what you preach, you uh, you live it, breathe it, um, live it, breathe it, uh, teach it, eat it. You, you engulf this truth and wisdom and knowledge and understanding in your life, and you um, basically practice it every day on an everyday basis, um, and this understanding. Uh, wisdom in the Greek is um, is Sophia. Um, you know, and you um, there's a scripture um, in the Bible that talks about how wisdom can be compared to you know making love to it or uh it's some it, it, it like i may be uh butchering it but it's like you you're ravish you're ravish with with it always like it it, it ravish you always something like that um but anyway my next scripture i want to get to is uh, proverbs uh 7 and verse 4 uh, it says Say unto wisdom, thou art my sister, and call understanding thy kinswoman. So you, basically, when you uh, get this knowledge and understanding, you um, lock yourself into it. You get, uh, you're satisfied with it above everything. You know, and it, it, it becomes your your first woman above all all women, you know, is the wisdom and I was understanding of the how that's me also become your first woman above all women. Um uh, the next scripture I wanna get is um wisdom of Solomon chapter six uh, and verse sixteen it says Wisdom of Solomon chapter 6 verse 16. For she bears forth without seeking comfort or worthy of her. She stores herself and favors it unto men and uh, her way and moveth from the evil thoughts. Um, and um, this wisdom is um, for those that worthy of her, but for those that, that uh, basically, like, like it says in 2nd Edge 6, um, which I'm going to get that, but it's for those that practice and those that are chosen to receive this wisdom and knowledge and understanding of how about the Messiah. Those are the ones that are worthy to, um, of her. You know, um, those are a part of the elect, um, you know, um, and says, show herself favorable unto them in, in the ways and meet them in every thought. And this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, if you're um, truly following it and you're truly uh, practicing it and you're using it in your everyday life, um, it shall meet you in every thought, even when you're doing folly. Um, this wisdom, knowledge, understanding should actually uh, come in, come to mind, especially when you're watching like a movie, or if you're um, just out and about, uh, or if you're at the job, on the on the uh, you know in servitude for Esau, or it's just in every day you should just think about something you know scripture based, something spiritual, something. Um, that can um, be considered 
uh, a wise point from the scriptures, you know. Um, uh, my next scripture I want to get was, because um, it talks about this being like frontlets, uh, frontlets like for your eyes. This is uh, Deuteronomy 11, 18. It says, therefore shall ye uh, lay up these my words in your heart, which the Hebrew word heart means lob, which is your mind, and in your soul, and bind them for a sign upon your hand, that they may be as frontlets between your eyes. And frontlets is um, like glasses, uh like you're able to you know uh move uh, through this this carnal and wicked society with the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of your how and y'all shy you're basically woken up out of the mental enslavement and you're uh you know basically the end of the movie the, the end of, of 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 this this uh wicked place you know destruction is coming and you know um that you know the the so-called negroes latinos and Native americans are going to um are going to be the next rulers in the, in in the kingdom of heaven you know and uh the elect are going to be saved out of this place you know all all you know that one day your nation is going to be immortal and rule forever, you know, because all the law, statutes, and commandments are going to be written in the nation of Israel's inward parts in their bodies, and they're going to be immortal forever. You know, you know, you know the end game with this wisdom and knowledge and understanding of Yahweh watching y'all shot. You know, and you know that. Um, you know. Taking in this wisdom and knowledge and understanding, you can, um, you know how to navigate efficiently here in Babylon, you know? Um, I'm going to read a little more. It says, and, um, this is uh, Deuteronomy 11, verse 19. Ye shall teach them. Teach them your children, speak of them when thou sittest in thy house, and when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. Um, and teaching the next generation these law statutes commandments, um, it says in the scripture, train up a child in the way he shall go, and when he is old, he shall not depart from it. So if you, you know, and it also says in scripture, those that teach these commandments, Shall be great in the kingdom of heaven, and those that don't teach him shall be least in the kingdom of heaven. So you teach, and you you learn this wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And you teach it to to the nation, to the people, to your children, to everyone. And you basically get the blood off your hands, and you um, Lord willing, you'll be great in the kingdom of heaven. You know. Uh, uh, I'm I'm gonna end it right here. I'm gonna say all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushah, Bashim Kakadash, the Bond, the other apostle, great millstones. Salutations, you walk and teach all truth, sincerity, and shalom.